Welcome back to Kim's Creations. I am going to pour over this piece. There are several things in this that, or that happened to this painting that um, just have not sit with me really well. And um, I have let it, you know, collect for several weeks and I've decided I am gonna do that. There's a couple things. Um, the paint didn't dry very well right through here. I had a goober in here that I picked out, tried to fix, but it still catches my eye. This part here is weird and in putting that video together, I noticed that when I lifted my cup, I dipped the end of the cup into the paint and that created that weird thing. So I'm just gonna paint over it. Um, might as well reuse the canvas. Don't want it to go to waste. So I'm gonna do this kind of backwards. This is all leftover paint from the two paintings that I did, and I have restrained them, made them more fluid again, and I've decided I'm gonna make this my base. So I'm gonna kind of take that middle color and make it my, my uh, negative space color. Could be interesting. I'm just checking to make sure this is Kind of fluid enough and hopefully it will cover the canvas. What I am going to do is I'm going to spray the back of the canvas just have some water in a bottle. I'm going to run that run my hands over this and what that'll do is just tighten the back of this canvas back up or the canvas back up and make it nice and drum-like, especially as we'll be pouring quite a bit of paint back on this. So give that a second and it'll come back in. Wanna make sure I've got this back in frame. Yes, I do. Okay, now I'm gonna get to layering my cup. So I gotta think about how I want this to end. So I am going to put, this is the cup I'm gonna to use to layer the paints. I'm gonna use this dark blue for the very center. I'm gonna add some of this bright blue. I'm gonna go in with white now. This white does have satin enamels in it going to use a touch of that. Like I said, I, I, I don't really remember all the colors that were used in this. I think I should use some of my bronze mixture in here now. A layer of that. Go back in with some white. Got a bigger bunch of that. Dark. Nice bunch of that dark blue. I'm gonna finish that off. It's always so satisfying when you get to finish off the cup. There we go. Down there, what am I gonna add now? More bronze. Oh, maybe a layer of white. Enamel, bronze, finish off the bronze. Okay. 
Okay. What am I going to come in with now? Kind of fun to play with the paints. And another one down. I think we need to go in and finish off my Prussian blue. There's my cup. Might as well finish that off too. So there we go. There's my cup. Okay. Run that in. All right. that out of the way so this is going to be my flow extender the bronze and I am just gonna let it kind of flow on down the canvas I don't know maybe I'll spread it out I know I will get um, some marks from uh, using my spatula but you know um, I think really in the end it'll give it, it because it's a metallic paint it is going to have a, a kind of suede look is what I'm hoping will occur hoping fingers crossed so that's what we'll do get my spatula maybe I want a dark puddle though mm -hmm. I'm gonna start off with this in the middle-ish. I'm gonna pour into that circle. All right, so here's my cup. Yes, am I gonna do a ring pour or a straight pour? I'll do a ring pour, here we go. Go around the other way. Again, just alternating the direction of the rings. Just slowing it down at the end, alternating the direction. Okay. Too bad <laughs> could have been better but wasn't too bad wipe that off here I'm gonna grab my skewer let's just center that a bit I 
Now I did have satin enamels in my white paint. So that is gonna create these bubbles, which I am good with. This is all just, you know, a, a painting for fun. So let's do it. Got lots of bubbles coming up here. And I do wanna leave negative space on this because I wanna see this gold background. wondering if I should wreck it. Don't know. I've never wrecked a painting before. Makes me nervous. If I was going to wreck it, how would I wreck it? <sighs> oh, let's just do it. first wreck. <laughs> what a fun experiment. All right, let me move this around. Just want to open this up, see what I got. My paint, my base paint is definitely drying quickly. It was very thin. I did not have enough. All right, now. Let me just bring this back to the center. I'm gonna pop more bubbles. I am liking what I'm seeing though, it's pretty cool. Okay. I think trying to figure out which way I want to tip it. I think I'm going to go off that side and this side. All right. Looks like the weight is still up over here. I'm going to turn this around. going around. Okay, so we're going to come off this side. See how the paint's rolling over itself? I should have had more of my base. I'm just bringing that paint back, making sure this corner is covered. Okay, now I've got to get that other corner around, so let's do that so you guys can see. I'm actually really liking this copper negative space. All right, back the other way. And look at all the lines. I, I am quite liking how I wrecked this, gotta say. I'm not a huge wrecker, wrecker person. I think it probably has to do with my, um... Well, no, I can't say that because I have been getting into doing modified blooms and um, creating patterns by wrecking those. So I don't know what I'm thinking. All right, and that's off that side. Let's 
bring it back. Bring her back. You probably can't see right now. I'm just bringing the weight of the paint back to the center. I'm gonna make sure my corner's covered here. Get this back into, get the paint back into the middle and see what we're gonna do. Wow. I think I want to bring the paint down this way. So let's do that. Let's turn it again. And it never seems to fail that my dog Cosmo always wants out when I'm recording. So if you hear that sniffing, that's him alerting me to the fact that he's like, mom, I know you're recording. Guess what time it is? <laughs> time for me to go outside. Just sending that paint back down the other way. And I think I'm pretty good with this. Now he's getting more insistent. <laughs> Darn dogs. We love them though. All right, what do you guys think of this one? You probably have that big ring light in there that I'm just noticing now over the painting. But I'll be back. In just a minute, I'm gonna let my dog out and then we'll bring you down for a close up. All right, stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. I am going to torch it again. I torched it once um, that you didn't see, but I'm gonna torch it again. And I'll probably torch it one more time after I've shown you the close up. All right, let's uh, do the close up. I'm gonna try and move my light, my ring light. All right, let's get you down. Yeah, that's much better for you guys. See how this works. Now you got my other light. Here we are. Let's get the close up. I am really loving the copper edges on this the copper negative space. And then look in here, look at these nice fluffy boulder cells, ring light. And then look at the lines in this. Everything was mixed with mix pouring medium, mix pour, that you can get from Krista Rasmussen at Krista. I'm gonna put the email on, on the bottom. I don't want to get the numbers wrong. I have a bad habit of um, inverting numbers. Look at that. I am really actually quite happy that I did wreck this. Made it a totally different piece. Look at those cells. Get in real close. So you can see the transparency in that, the layers of one paint over another the lines, the definition of the lines, all those cool little cells that popped up. A lot of that's just due to the um, satin enamels. Back this out a little bit. So what do you guys think? I'm actually really, really in love with this piece. I love it a lot. Very different kind of colors and um, and I think it works. So stay tuned, I will show you the dried results next. Okay, give me a minute. 